Hi fitness friends, this is a 50 minute full body Pilates ring or magic circle workout. Don't worry if you don't have a circle, you can just use your body weight. This is a core based class, but we focus on the entire body. So just grab your mat or a soft surface and let's begin. Let's begin with Pilates V. So heels together, toes apart, holding the circle right at your chest. Depress the shoulders and close the ribs. Inhale, come up into a releve. The circles go right over the head. And then circle comes all the way back down to your thighs. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, lower. So draw your heels together, upper inner thighs, inner knees, testing our balance muscles and you're tucking your pelvis under, you're squeezing your thighs as straight as you can. So we inhale, rise and lengthen. Exhale, lower, so heels together. Inhale, rise and lengthen. Exhale, lower, warming up. So making sure that the spine is straight and long, shoulders stacked over the hips, over the ankles, strengthening the beautiful and perfect plumb line in your body. Two more of these, light pressure on the circle, inhale up. Exhale down, once again. Inhale up, exhale down. Circle comes on to the right shoulder, left hand to your hip. Come up into a releve if you can, so you're squeezing your thighs, heels together. Press the circle down and down, down. So you're working your bicep muscle, your elbows are out to the side, and you're holding in your releve, so you're squeezing your thighs, tucking your pelvis, squeezing the glute. Awesome, eight more here, keep the elbow out to the side, and seven, six, five, and four, three, two, excellent job. Lower your heels, have a little pause. Circle comes down towards your hips, but bend your elbow for this one, deep press the shoulders, close the ribs, open the collarbones, come up again into your releve, squeeze your thighs, we press in. So the elbow's bent for this, you're feeling this a bit more in your lats, so the white part of your back, and those muscles that actually protect your shoulder girdle. So I hear it so many times people have shoulder injuries in the gym. This is gonna to help to prevent shoulder injury by creating stability in the shoulder joint, more foundation, and less impingement. So the elbow's bent for this one. You're staying in releve, so we're getting those balanced muscles. Your thighs and glutes should be burning. Eight more of these. Nice and tall through the spine. Seven, steady your eyes. It's gonna help with your balance. Five, and four, three, two, and release. Come out of releve. Now the arm is straight. Depress, retract, collarbones open, lengthen spine. Come back up again into releve. Squeeze your thighs. Again, we press in. So the arm is straight, but try not to lock out your elbow. Tuck your pelvis towards the navel so there's no crease in the hip. And now here, we're strengthening the lats, wide part of the back, so I want you to squeeze shoulder blades together, especially that right shoulder blade coming in and down into the back ribs. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Nice and tall. Four more. Three. Two. Awesome job. Release. Let's go to the other side. So circle comes on to your left trapezius. So the toes are in Pilates V, right hand to hip, come up into releve, tuck pelvis to navel. Here we go, press down. So steady your eyes, it's gonna help with your balance. Elbow is nice and wide, chin away from the chest just slightly, firm pressure on that circle. Working the bicep, lengthening spine. We have eight more here, seven and six, five and four, Three, two, excellent. The thighs should definitely be burning by now. Circle to hip, elbows bent for this one. Tuck pelvis, depress. Let's go. Come up into releve and press in. In. So shine your collarbones open. Make sure you're tucking your pelvis. So we're strengthening the perfect frame in the body so everything lines up. Your ears over your shoulder, over your hip, over your ankle while we're strengthening these upper back muscles, again, that help to stabilize the shoulder joint and create less impingement as the muscles in the back of the shoulder are strengthened. Eight more, and seven, and six. Thighs are burning, should be burning by now. Three, two, 
Whew, lots happening here. One more, because my thighs can't take any more. Here we go, back up into releve. Straight on this one, we press in, in, in. So close the rib cage, lengthen through the crown, slide that left shoulder blade back into the rib cage, and feel those upper back muscles working. Stay in your releve, draw upper inner thighs together. Last eight, seven, and six, five. Four, three, two, whew, very good. Shake out those legs and just simply bring the circle behind you, pressing in on that circle. Push your hips back just slightly, so it's just a little bit of a half squat, or if you like, you can come a little bit lower. Now we're gonna press in and little pulses with the squat, in with the circle. Now, circle might not even move here. That's okay, I just want you to squeeze those triceps and press in, push the weight of your body into the heels, lighten the tippy toes. Eight more, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's go one inch deeper, eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, well done, step the feet wide of the mat, so toes out on the 45, dip the circle down towards the floor on the exhale, inhale, rise and reach, exhale, full deep plie, the hips go back, inhale, rise, so the movement is at the hip joint, the knees stay right over the ankle, spine is straight, inhale up, exhale down, warming up the whole body now, keeping light pressure on the circle, inhale up, Exhale down. So the spine never changes shape. Taking time, moving with your breath. Let's add the heels. Right heel lifts, hold briefly. Inhale up. Exhale the left heel lifts. Inhale up. And the right heel come nice and low, but make sure the chest doesn't dip. So the chest stays lifted. The hips are dipping low as you can. Inhale up. Nice and slow. So we're feeling the muscle connection. Four more, and up, and three, and up, two more. Last one, arms chest level, right heel lifts, little pulses press in on the circle, eight. Just little tiny presses on that circle. Good, and change legs, little breaths. Two, three, four, five, Six, once more. On the right, a little lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and the left. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two. Circle to the floor. Inhale up. Exhale down. Eight of these. So trying to get a little bit lower with those hips as we're experiencing more mobility now in the hip joint, lengthening the spine. Four more, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Two more. Last one. Awesome. Bring the circle just in between the knees, above the knee. Toes straight ahead and hip distance apart. Spine nice and straight, arms out in front. Come nice and low into your hips. Abdominals engage. Now simply press in, in. Make sure that circle is perfectly parallel, right? Not on an angle at all. Drop your hips low. Tiny presses in on that circle. Abdominals engage, spine straight. Arms out in front or on your hips. This one's great for the inner thighs, great for the core. Eight, and seven, and six, five, and four, three, two. Now you're gonna hold it in little presses. Eight, seven, six, we have the burn now, and that feels great. Three, two, hold it low, pressing eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it in, pressing eight, seven, hello thighs, come nice and low. Four more, three, two, hold here, one more set, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, hold it in, pressing eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, hold it, rise on up, awesome, take that circle out, come down onto all fours, carefully come on down, four point kneeling, just a couple cat to cows, continuing to warm the spine, exhale as you round, tuck, reach your belly button up to the sky, tucking the chin, Inhale, gentle arch, lift the tailbone, eye gaze forward. Exhale, rounding, tucking. Inhale to a gentle arch. Once again, exhale, rounding and tucking. Inhale, gentle arch. Awesome, a flat back position. Grab the circle and you're gonna bring it just behind the front heel and under the gluteal fold. So the front leg, the one closest to me, should be your right leg if you're facing the same wall as me. All right, so you need to point the toe here. So point your big toe to the sky. You can also do this without the circle. Pull belly to spine. Can you extend your back arm? So it's the opposite arm. Working paraspinals here. Arm and leg lift up and up. Make sure there's no arching in the back. Belly stays lifted to the spine, eye gaze down to the same level as your fingertips. You're squeezing in on the circle the whole time, activating hamstring and glute. You have one more set of eight, seven, squeezing the circle, six, and five, and four, three, two, hold it up. Now you can bring hand to the mat or reach the hand behind your body activating those upper back muscles. Arm and leg pulses. Eight, seven, a little quicker. Six, five, four, three, two. Once again, you should be feeling hamstring and glute by now. Belly stays lifted. And four, three. Now you're gonna hold that leg up there. Reset hand to the mat, press in on the circle, close the circle, definitely more hamstring now. Make sure that there's no arching in the back. Spine stays really straight. Whoa, isolation work for the hamstring. Keep the thigh lifted at least parallel to the floor. Eight more here, this is it. Eight and seven, six, five and four, three, two. It's a hold. Lower down, awesome. If you're sore tomorrow, it's because of this exercise, deep concentration work. Change to your back leg or your left leg. Point the toe and scoop the thigh up to the sky. All right, so make sure that the navel's lifted to the spine. That's gonna give you foundation so the front arm just floats off the floor. Arm right up to ear level, press in on the circle. This is a little bit slower. Arm and leg lift up and up, and up, up. Squeeze the glute, squeeze in on the circle, get the arm up to ear level, each and every time, thigh up to hip level. And one more set of eight, no sagging in the back. Breathing, three, four, and five, six, Seven, it's a hold, squeeze that circle, reach the arm behind, hand to floor is your option. Little quicker pulses, arm and leg. Eight, seven, squeeze those upper back muscles. And four, good, one more set. Eight, seven, six, five, squeeze circle, four, three, two, it's a hold. Bring the hand down, keep that thigh up, press in on the circle. Keep that thigh parallel to the floor, no arching in the back. Isolation for hamstring. Breathe, make sure you're breathing. Should be feeling your hamstring by now, if not, lift just a little bit higher. Press, press. You have one more set of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Ooh, good job. Bring it down, have a quick child's pose. Stretch your hips, bring the knees wide, reach hands to the top of the mat. Hamstring tends to be a weaker muscle because we're constantly walking forward, strengthening quadriceps. So weaker muscle is very important to strengthen. So we balance out our body. Come down onto your tummy, circle out in front, overhead, one handle to the floor, one handle to the sky. Legs are hip distance apart, hands on the top handle. 
If this is too much extension, hands are on the mat. So pelvis to mat, ears and arms aligned. Exhale, prepare. Inhale, lift just the rib cage, light pressure on the circle. I want you to use your back muscles to lift you. Circle is assisting you like a training wheel. Lower down, there's your exhale. Inhale, rise to your spinal extension. This time the thighs lift. Light pressure on that circle. Eye gaze down, maintain length as you're lifted. Come on down, exhale. Inhale, rise up, you're gonna stay here. Open and close the legs, out, out, out. So light pressure on the circle. The back muscles are holding you. Circle is assisting you. Legs are dead straight. Tilt pelvis to mat. Eye gaze down for long, safe neck position. And we're strengthening the back body core. So the glute muscles, the upper back, the lower back, these foundational core muscles in the body. Strong back, strong body. Let's go four more. Three, maintain your lift. Two, legs stay wide, lift the legs. Eight, tap down. Seven, full range. Six, all the way down the neck. Five, and four. Three, two, awesome. Now you're gonna hold it. Front arm or your right arm reaches back. Just keep it there. Now just lift the legs. Eight, seven, squeeze the upper back. Six, five, four more. Three, two, hold those legs up as you simply change arms. Back arm now, hold it there. Legs lift. Eight, seven, and six, five, and four, three, two, and bring hands back to the circle. You're gonna hold extended swan, holding four, lifting higher, three, keep lengthening, two, keep squeezing, and done. Good job, come on back. Decompress that spine with a big exhale into your hips. So strengthening and then release. The body's happy. Inhale and exhale. High plank with your circle. This is hard. So you can always just simply stay on the knees for this. Circles nearby. Now you're gonna simply extend one leg and then the other. Come into your high plank first, but get your legs about hip distance or slightly wider so we've got stability. How are you feeling today? Can you grab the circle and just simply bring it underneath your shoulder and you're gonna press great for those abs. Press down. Big time core work. Five, six. Do you feel your abs reacting? Good job. You have one more set of eight and seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it down briefly, feel your core, bring it down. Good job, guys. Circle um, to the other side. First, get your plank, extend one leg, and then the other, push the floor away, get a little space between those legs for stability. Circle underneath that back hand. Here we go, pressing. <sighs> little out breaths to help connect your deep core muscles. <sighs> Six, seven, Eight more, big presses, big breaths. Last four, three, two, whoa, good job. All right guys, come on to your knees. Bring the circle behind you, but you're gonna slip your hands inside of the circle. So it's just simply pressing on the tops of the hands. First, let's get the arms. So tuck your pelvis, depress the shoulders, close the ribs, collarbones shine open. Press isometrically out on the circle, and then the arms simply lift, hold, and lower. This is amazing for posture correction. So you're tucking the pelvis slightly, reach those arms behind, hold, and release. So I just want you to stay here in this position first, and then we're gonna add on. So first feeling, upper back muscles, in between shoulder blades, those rhomboid muscles that help to give us good posture all day long without even thinking about it. All right, let's add the half camel if you can. Come back, hold just a few seconds, activate, and then slowly rise. Think about the muscles you're working, mindfulness in your workout. Come back, hold in between those shoulder blades, and rise, don't hold your breath, big out breath. 
So let the breath be your guide. Move that slowly as you breathe. Keep pushing isometrically out of the circle. This is gonna pull those shoulders back all the time, preventing and correcting any forward rotation or rounding that might be happening in your shoulders, impinging the shoulder joint and impinging your neck. So this is correcting all of that. Very effective. Are you breathing? Big exhale back. And rise, arms are burning, that's good, four more. Keep pushing out on that circle, and three. Last two, nice, I'm sweating already. Good job, now last one, you're gonna hold this one eight seconds, do the best you can. Keep pushing out on that circle, keep tucking the pelvis, four, three, two, Done, phenomenal. Come on to your bum. Extend your legs out in front of you. All right, core abdominals. So let's just start with the circle right out in front of the chest. Sit nice and tall on the sit bones, soft bend in the knees, inhale. Exhale, hollow the tummy, tilt pelvis to navel, and come halfway back. In a half roll down, abdominal scoop, tilt pelvis towards the navel, drop belly towards the spine. You're gonna simply sweep across towards me, Rainbow to the center. Sweep across to the back. Rainbow center. Let's add the leg. The front leg lifts and center. And the back leg lifts and center with the breath. And up. Pressure on the circle the whole time and get that spinal rotation. So you're getting rotation here, you're getting shoulder girdle stability, and of course, core activation. The more you scoop your belly towards the spine, the more you're gonna feel this in the abs. Connect with the breath, and you'll feel it even more. And center. Great job, let's do four more. And center, three. And center, two more. Last one, back to center, round the spine to come up, extend your legs, reach to the sky and exhale, circle around the feet, finding a forward fold flexion coming from the hip, not the back. So if you need to bend your knees, exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale to rise. Now this next one is straight legs. If you can, if you have a back issue, please bend the knees. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hollow and scoop, tilting pelvis to navel. Squeeze your thighs straight, big hollow in that tummy. Depress the shoulders, but maintain spinal length, so space between bottom rib and the hip. The circle taps twice to the thighs, up, hold. Tap, tap, hold the breath. Now we're gonna add a tiny boat crunch, so it's a little bit back, tiny bit up. Just a tiny boat crunch and you're gonna feel more core muscles engage. Thighs are straight, if you can. If they're straight, you're in a little bit of a rotation, so heels together, toes apart, Pilates V. Make sure that rock back doesn't bother your back. Make sure you're tilting pelvis to navel to prevent any pressure on that lumbar spine. Four more. Good job. Now come back and just simply hold. Simply hold, squeeze those thighs, tiny boat crunches, eight. Feel those abs. Last two. Last one, inhale, lengthen, flex it tall as you can. Exhale, find a forward fold, so flexion in the spine. Remember, you're tilting from the hip, not your back. Feel free to bend your knees if you're feeling it in the back. Inhale, rise on up. Bring the uh, legs inside of the circle. Circle goes just above the knee on the thigh, just a little bit of glute activation here. So spine your fingers to the floor or reach the arms out in front. Let's go for a straight spine to begin and then come back just slightly hollowing out that tummy. So the toes line up to where the knees are and you're gonna simply press out, press out. Now this is not super quick. 
Every time you press out, it's a hold and hold and hold. Now, if you're not feeling your abs, maybe explore a bit more depth. That's it. So a little further back into your half roll down. Every time you push out, you're squeezing the upper glute muscles and the outer thighs. Good job. Feeling the glute, feeling the abs, feeling no pressure in the back. If you are, feel free to use your hands and create more of an abdominal scoop. Eight more. Seven. And six. Five. And four. Three. And two. Now hold those legs out. Tiny pulses. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, get the booty burn. One more set, eight, squeezing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. It's a hold, hold here, keep holding. The arms wide of knees, rise, wide of knees, rise. You're isometrically pushing out on the circle. Your thighs and abs are burning. If that's not happening, create it. It's up to you. Keep pushing out on that circle. Keep dropping belly to spine, feeling good and strong today. Big out breath. One more set. Eight and seven. We got the burn and it feels great. And five and four, three and two. Goodness gracious, that hurt. All right, good job guys. Now, you're gonna bring the circle underneath your back thigh. So this is your left leg, again, if you're facing the same wall, or the leg that's furthest from me. Now, just simply come on to your back. You might have to scoot down a little bit so circle is perpendicular to the floor. Palms to the mat, depress the shoulders, close the ribs, imprint the spine. Now, the front leg closest to me, point the toe up to the sky. If you have a back issue, please bend this knee slightly. If not, both legs are dead straight. Imprint spine. Inhale, exhale, the leg lowers. <sighs> Inhale, up. So we're just going for eight kicks first. Now, I want you to feel your lower abs really click in as that leg lowers. Your abs have to work hard because that back leg is hanging out on an unstable surface the circle, which is activating more core muscles. Is your back unloading? Maintain your imprint. Seven and eight. Now we have eight down circles. Get an external rotation, heel towards the midline of your body. That goes down, out, around, and up. You can bring the arms slightly away from the midline of the body for more stability. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. If this all doesn't feel good in your back, ditch the circle, bend the knee, foot to the floor. <sighs> Take care of your back. Four more of these. So it's a pause at the top. And <sighs> two more. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Change directions. Use control. It all comes from the lower abs. <sighs> and your breath the breath is going to help you connect to your deep core muscles, transverse abdominals, very stabilizing. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Great job, no unloading in that lower back. <clears throat> Last one. All right, good job. Now toe to the sky, interlace your hands behind the head, curl up, 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 get off those shoulder blades, get both legs straight. Every time you curl up, Push the bottom leg down. Oh, that's hard. Bottom leg pushes as you curl up. <sighs> Lengthen as you lift. Eye gaze to the ceiling. Push down on the circle. <sighs> feel the hamstring. You feel your lower abs. Nothing in the neck. Six. And seven. And eight more. Can you lift slightly higher? Big curl up. Push down on the circle. Four more. And three. And two. Hold this one up. Hold down on that circle. Top leg is going to kick. Tap the circle. Up. Tap the circle. Up. Three. Going to eight. Then the side is done. Four. And nice and slow. 
six and seven and eight. Wow, great job. Come on up. Your break is changing sides. So circle underneath the front leg or your right leg. So come on back. <clears throat> Make sure the circle is perpendicular to the floor. Imprint the spine by pushing the lower back down into the mat. Close the ribs. That back leg rotates externally and points to the sky. So heel towards the midline of the body. Make sure you're really imprinting the spine. Drop lower belly down towards the mat. Here we go. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Kick down and up. Exhale lower and up. So your abdominals are engaged the whole time. You're imprinting and you're breathing. Six and and eight. Let's go for down circles. So it goes down, out, around, up. Pause at the top. And up. So you're getting hip mobility and stability as we're working on those lower abs. For more this direction, make sure the rib cage stays closed, shoulders down. The bottom leg is active and straight. Two. Last one, other directions, up circle, out, around, and up, exhale to lower. So big circle without wobbly hips. How big can you get the circle with stable hips? So the hips stay down on the floor. And six, and seven, and eight, good job, toe to the sky. Interlace hands behind the head, curl up, 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 high as you can. Lift up off those shoulder blades, curl up, the bottom leg lowers. Release, curl up, bottom leg lowers. Release, curl up, press down on the circle. Release, exhale, curl up, press down on the circle. Release, hamstring, lower abs, upper abs, it's all happening. Even feeling a nice little fiber. Don't rush this one. Big exhale. Good. And seven. And eight more of these, but can you lift slightly higher? Get off of those shoulder blades, relax your head, let the abs do the work. Last five, really pressing down on that circle. And four more. And three. Last two. Last one. Good job. Hold this one up. The top leg taps the circle to the sky. Tap to the sky. Ab, ab, thigh burn. Excellent job. Exhale down. Inhale up. This is it. Last four. Lift higher with that rib cage. Two more. Last one, whoa, that was intense. Grab the circle, feet in the rim of the circle, pull your legs in towards you. We're gonna go into counterbalance now, so we have to work the opposing muscle groups. So, circle goes just above the knee on the thigh, bring heels to buttocks, palms to the mat, and then walk your feet a whole foot length away. Push firmly out on that circle, and then align your big toe to your knee. Let's start with an imprint, push your lower back down to the mat, exhale the air from the lungs, tilt pelvis to navel. Very slowly articulate your spine vertebrae by vertebrae coming off of the mat, and then climb up into a nice high hip bridge. So notice the legs are in a two-third bend. So I want you to push out on the circle, push your sit bones towards the back of the knee and find length in the front body by pushing the knees to the long front of you. So we're stretching out all those muscles that we contracted as we are contracting the back muscles. That's why it's called counterbalance. So pushing out on that circle, simply lower the hips halfway all the way up on your exhale. Lower hips halfway all the way up. So this is a great one for hip and pelvis stability should be feeling that. You're pushing out on that circle constantly, isometric contraction. And at the top, give your booty a nice big squeeze. And that's gonna really help to strengthen hips and pelvis. Three more nice and slow like this. 
Last two. Last one. Now you're gonna hold this one at the top, flex your feet so just your heels are on the mat. Lift your hips as high as you can, little presses out on the circle. Out, out, out. Concentration work. Thinking about the muscles you're working. Feeling the side of the glute, the gluteus minimus. You're also feeling lower glute, which is a hard to get muscle. So basically where your hamstring inserts into the lower gluteals tends to be a weaker muscle. Now can you lift your hips a little higher and then relax your hands, palms up so they can't help. Eight more of these. Seven, six, five, and four, three, two. Hold it here, hip raise little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more set, go for that booty burn. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, hold it up. Lower down vertebrae by vertebrae, take your time, amazing. All right, have a quick stretch, feet in the rim of the circle. Exhale as you pull your legs and towards you, finding some more flexion in the spine, which is going to help to maximize the effectiveness of our poor abdominal work. All right, so let's go for tabletop legs, two 90 degree bends, one at knee, one at hip. Circle to front thigh. Now, you're just gonna hold it simply with your hand as you come up. Bringing your hand behind the head, back hand, you're gonna curl up high as you can, and then simply bring that back elbow onto the circle so you're rotating towards me. Now it's a crunch. These are really hard, so you can do it without the circle if you need to and work up to it. I want you to close the circle with your abdominal muscles. So you're doing it with your back elbow, back elbows on that circle. Nice big crunch. I know it's tough. Stay with me. <sighs> Relax your head. Let the work come from those abs. You have one more set of eight. Big out breath to lift. <sighs> abs are burning. How about you? Almost there. <sighs> and three, two. All right, who's with me? Stay up. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six. Don't jerk the neck. It's in the abs. Three, two, ha, ah, that was effective. All right, have a quick stretch. Just reach arms overhead, reach those legs out. All right, breaks over, tabletop those legs. Circle on the back thigh. Just hold it with your hand first. Come up as high as you can, and then bring front hand behind your head. Rotate towards the back wall, bring the elbow onto the circle, both hands behind the head. Here we go. Crunch in on the circle, use your abs. So you're getting rotation with a crunch. So you're getting those obliques, the upper abs, and your lower abs. Very effective exercise. Stay in that rotation the whole time. Curl up and squeeze that circle closed with your abs. One more set of eight, but can you come a little bit higher? Eight and last four. Four, higher, three, and two. Hold this one up, little pulses, not with your neck, with your abs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and that's why we love Pilates. So effective. Reach in here for a stretch. Inhale, exhale. All right, tabletop those legs again. This time, circle goes behind the skull, not behind the neck. So if you don't like the circle here, just replace it with your hands. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna curl up high as you can, shoot your legs out 45 degrees in Pilates V, heels together, toes apart. Inhale, lower down, back to start position. We're gonna make this a little harder. I just want you to first get the form. If you want, you can bring toes to ceiling for a little bit easier. Inhale to lower. Two more of these. You're gonna curl up high as you can. Get up off those shoulder blades. Inhale to lower. All right, this one, we're gonna stay. Holding up as high as you can. Keeping legs at 45 or to the ceiling. Open, flex, close. Point, open, flex, close. You're staying in your curl up. The circle is actually helping you to lift up off shoulder blades. 
Exhale to open. Inhale to close. Now to make it easier, just lower your head and shoulders on the mat, bend your knees or toes towards the ceiling. So tons of options if you need an easier option. If not, you're here with me, legs 45, heels together, toes apart in your external Pilates V. Feeling lower abs, feeling thighs, feeling upper abs. Great job, four more. Can you lift a little higher with that rib cage? In and three. In, two more. <sighs> Last one. All right, this is your finale. Toes to sky, crunching up for eight, seven. Relax your head, it's all in those abs. <sighs> and four, three, two. Well done. Come on down, have a little pause. Now, the circle goes in between the ankles. Toes to the sky. Palms to the mat or underneath your bum if you have low back issues. Depress the shoulders, close the ribs, imprint spine. Flex the feet, press in on circle. Exhale, lower slowly, 45. Keep pressing circle. Point the toes and we slowly lift back up. Exhale, lower 45. Inhale up. Is your back unloading? If it is, I need you to bend your knees, hands under your bum. Take care of your lumbar spine. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. This is so good for those lower abs, a major core muscle. We're also working the adductors, the inner thighs, your quadriceps. Good job, guys. Four more only. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Keep squeezing in on that circle. Two more. Rib cage stays closed. Last one. Toes to sky, hold here, keep squeezing circle, interlace hands behind head, curl up as high as you can. You're gonna simply reach to opposite ankle and lower, reach. You're still squeezing the circle. I'm getting a little bit of a shake. How are you doing? Stay with me, we're getting stronger today. Big exhales, you reach. The one hand is behind your head, supporting the neck so your head can relax and let the abs do the work. It's all about isolation, right? Big reach as you rotate. <sighs> Lovely shake, that's good. Let's go four more. <sighs> Lower, three, and two. Last one, now little crunch for eight. Polish off, eight, seven, and six. Five abs are done in four, three, two, whoa, toast. My abs are toast, what about you guys? All right, come on to your side, face me. First bring the bottom leg inside of the circle and then come all the way down onto your forearm. Now the top leg is just gonna simply press on the top handle. All right, so you want to scoot your booty back so that the circle is just above your ankle. Lift it out of the bottom shoulder joint, hand to hip or to the floor is fine. I want you to flex your foot, point the toe straight ahead, down hold, squeeze, lift, down hold, squeeze, lift. Adductor work, quadricep work because the leg is super straight. Down hold, squeeze, lift. Lift, try to keep that top leg as straight as you can. And it's a hold at the bottom. Just a couple second hold. Try to fight the circle from getting all wobbly. One more set of eight. Hold at the bottom and seven. Good, should be for it feeling a little burn now. And five more. Flex the foot and four, concentrate on the squeeze. And three, staying lifted, and two, awesome job. Now, the top leg comes inside of the circle, flex the foot. Now we're gonna work the opposing muscle group. Up, hold, release. Up, hold, release. Point your big toe straight ahead to me, and every time you lift, you're feeling the upper glute the outer thigh, hold, release, and six, hold, release, seven, 
seven, hold, release, and guess what? One more set, you love it. Lift a little higher, hold, release. Good, up, hold. Try not to sink in bottom shoulder joint, try to stay lifted. Using your side abs, side abs to keep you lifted. Four, and five, hold, release. Six, hold, should be feeling the burn. Seven, hold, ow, yes, we're feeling it. Eight, now, hold it there. Roll just off your hip bone, pull the toes, reach the hand to the sky or behind for support. Push out on that circle using side abs, lift the legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, once more, eight, and seven, and six, five, you're doing great, last four, three, and two, hold it up for four, three, two, done. Ow, great job, let's go to the other side. How about a little shoulder roll in the middle? All right, feeling good, feeling strong, we're going to stretch in just a few, so stay with me. So the bottom leg goes into the circle, come all the way down onto the bottom forearm. We start top leg on top of the circle. And we're gonna scoot your bum away so that that top leg gets dead straight. Make sure you're not lounging or impinging that bottom shoulder joint, you're staying lifted. Flex the foot, lift up out of bottom shoulder joint. Here we go, press, hold, lift. Press, hold, lift. So really focusing on squeezing the adductors, those inner thigh muscles, very important to help with strong knees and also strengthening and toning those muscles that protect the hip joint. Down, hold, lift. Down, hold, lift. Good job, that was eight. We have one more set of eight. Make sure you stay lifted, don't get lazy. As your body gets tired, you're gonna lounge here. So gotta stay lifted out of that bottom shoulder joint. Big out breath. Big in breath, let the breath guide you. So hold as long as it takes you to exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, three more. Good job, no wobbly circles. Last one, good job. All right, now leg goes inside the circle, Flex your foot, rotate big toe straight ahead. It's up, hold, release. Up, hold, push, push, push on that circle, release. So it's like you want to break that circle. Release, very stabilizing for your hips, focus. Keep top leg dead straight so you're working quadricep as well. Release, and six, you're doing great, almost done. And seven, feeling the top of the glute, and eight, as well as the side of the glute. One more set, eight. So let's glute med and glute min, right? Medius and minimus. Up and hold, release. Squeeze, hold. Ow, it's burning, and that's great. Up, hold, release, and five. Hold, no lounging. Six, hold. This is the best part. You've worked for this lactic acid. Stay with me. Release, up, hold, yes, let's celebrate. Point the toes, come onto the meaty part of the bum. That's the muscle you're working, lift the legs. And four, breath. Six, seven, eight more. Last four. Three, and two, hold it up, bring it down. Excellent job, guys. Come into a child's pose, spread the knees wide, big toes touch. Exhale as you push your hips to your heels, reaching the hands to the top of the mat, inhale, and exhale. All right, gonna stretch, just one more exercise. Come all the way down to your tummy, bring the circle to frame your bum, to pelvis to mat. Depress the shoulders, lengthen through crown, exhale, prepare. Inhale, lift arms and legs. 
Eye gaze down, safe neck position. This is your last exercise. This is gonna remind you about good posture all day through. Arms and legs lift up and up. Light pressure on the circle the whole time. Peace. Pinch in between those shoulder blades. Those shoulder blades draw down and into back ribs. Eye gaze forward and down. Reach the crown away from the body. Reach the toes away from the body. And lift everything up as high as you can. Last eight. And seven. And six. Five. And four. Three. And two. Hold this one up. Lower down. Amazing. Let's come on our back for a quick stretch. Using the circle for stretching. All right, all the way on your back and just bring the right foot into the circle. The left leg is straighter bent and big exhale, pull that leg in towards you. So you want to try to get the right leg as straight as you can. Slide the knee up your thigh to create length and a nice straight joint. Inhale, exhale, pull that leg in towards you. Feel how that release sends a message to your lower back to let go. So. When the hamstring is nice and loose and long, it takes a lot of pressure off of the lower back. So feel that happening. Feel some nice new blood flow coming to your back. Very good. Let's change sides. All right. So left leg in that circle, bottom leg straighter bent. Big exhale as the leg comes in towards you. So the deeper you breathe, the deeper release you experience in your body, both physically and emotionally, this all connected. Inhale, exhale, pull it in. Shoulders down, tailbone down. Try to keep that left leg straight as you can. Inhale, exhale. Good, once again, deep breath in, deep breath out. All right, circle to the side. Just let both knees drop towards me all the way down to the floor, up towards your armpit. Pick up your head, look away from the knees and press the top knee down. Supine twist, inhale. Exhale, down that back arm. So pressing those knees together. Feel how that helps to release that lower back. So everything is nice and warm. This is the best time for deep stretching, which is very beneficial for your body. Inhale. And exhale. Just take one more deep breath. Inhale. Letting go of any tension. All right, very slowly. Let the knees come through the center and towards the back wall, up towards your armpit. Pick up your head and look away. And let that front arm just break down towards the floor. So if your arm is floating off the floor like me, your spine is really tight, so it could be thoracic spine, could be lumbar spine, so it's just your body saying, I need a little bit more release. So listening to the needs of your body, very important for a happy, healthy body. Keep pressing those knees together, inhale. Exhale down that front arm. Once again, inhale and exhale. All right, come into seated, face the front, help yourself up slowly. And just finish with seated star. So heels together, knees apart, slide your sit bones really close to your heels, hands behind the bum, shoulder blades into back ribs, sit nice and tall, actively push those knees down, squeeze your tummy, inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, open your heart, feeling love as we continue to walk through this beautiful day, feeling strong feeling re-energized, feeling reconnected with our strong, fit, and happy self. So keep pushing your knees down. Take a beautiful, positive, loving, energetic breath in. Exhale and let it settle. Amazing job, friends. Thank yourself. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know how you did in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can continue to upload free content for you. Have a beautiful day.